You know, man, I, I honestly don't hate Crunchyroll as much as I probably should. Because, I mean, as much as they produce content which I can't stand sometimes, like their anime, like, Academy shit, like, that shit gets under my skin, they usually hit me with some pretty decent fucking articles. So let's check out the news today, and maybe I'll... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't tell me. That... that... This, this this can't mean what I think it that that must mean like a date right like they they it's, no okay no it's just FLCL two and three oh okay so not only are they taking my favorite anime and giving it a sequel unnecessarily but they're gonna give it two they're gonna make oh okay they they brought the original voice actors back I mean. What could go wrong? Remember that last anime that brought the voice actors back? That didn't go bad at all. Oh, I mean, like, we we got a summary of what this new new one's gonna be about, so, I mean, let's check it out a little bit. Created in 2000, FLCL, or Fooly Cooly, told the tale of Naoto, a 12-year-old boy who met a woman that changed his life forever, whether he liked it or not. In the new season of FLCL, or Fooly Cooly, many years have passed since Naoto and Haruhara Haruko shared their adventure together. Meanwhile, the war between the two entities known as M Medical Mechanica... Wow, I can't fucking speak. Medical Mechanica? Me mechanic... I can't fucking talk. I'm... Right now, I'm not... And, uh... Fraternity. I... Fraternity? Yeah, I think that's what it's... I'm bad at reading. Rages across the galaxy. Enter Hidomi. Hid Hidomi. A young teenage girl who believes there's nothing amazing to expect from her average life until one day her new teacher, Haruko, arrives at her school. Soon enough, Medical Mechanica is attacking her town. And Hidomi discovers the secret within her that could save everyone and this is it just sounds like flcl this just sounds like fooly cooly but they made it they made now to a girl because this time it's a different story we're gonna tell people to you from a girl's side this time let's check what is your reasoning flco is an anime classic and has been a fixture to adult swim since we first laid our eyes on it said jason demarco senior vice president director of adult swim on air I'm beyond thrilled to produce a sequel with the original creators for Toonami, where it belongs. Fuck you, dude. This is gonna be a fucking dumpster trash. I'm so fucking... Ooh, my favorite anime. I don't care what anyone says. Fucking... I'll shill Shima at every single day, but FLC is like the greatest fucking thing ever made. And it didn't need a sequel. It was a complete story. You didn't need to bring anything back. Oh, look at all this shit. Oh, why did she come back to Earth? Because they needed a sequel. Uh, what happened to the Rickenbacker? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. They probably won't even address it. Oh, uh, where the human type robot can't he go? Didn't even know he disappeared. I, I think they were talking about that, but I'm pretty sure it became the fucking Pirate King and then disappeared. It didn't matter because it wasn't about the actual medical mechanica in the fight. It was a... It was a tale of puberty. It was a really interesting fucking twist. The original creators were asked right after they produced the new one if they wanted to produce anything else. I fucking... And they said no. I can get you... I'll look for the interview where they where they talked about being turned down. Uh, we tried very hard to make a sequel because we loved it at Adult Swim and we were looking to develop new content for Adult Swim and wanted to make some original anime like The Big O. And so Fooly Cooly was one we pushed really hard. Uh, all the people involved, we approached several times with vast sums of money. And uh, to their credit, they said they weren't interested in repeating their what they did the first time. And really, it wasn't even really a conversation. It was like, nah. So um, um, that's to their credit. But yeah, I don't think there's going to be a Fooly Cooly sequel. And I guess they fucking finally, like, squirmed their way into the point where they got them to say yes. Because who the f- Because everyone wants Fooly Cooly 2. Everyone needs Fooly Cooly 2. Fooly Cooly did not need a sequel. Did not need two sequels. This is the shit that really triggered me. This is why I'm making this fucking thing. Because if there is going to be two fucking sequels to Fooly Cooly, I want to throw myself down the biggest flight of stairs fucking possible. Ways I can't think of the future Many kids don't need the masters Just 
Just the way they blow the love 